everyone and welcome to my studio. I'm Diane and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I usually paint in watercolour and sometimes use pencils um, to emphasise lines and uh, make things more interesting. And uh, a couple of days ago I came across this complete set of Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer watercolour pencils which belongs to my daughter and um, it's been absolutely beautifully looked after. She was given them when she was about 12, I think, and she's now 43, and they're still in absolutely perfect condition to be used, and they still work wonderfully. And she suggested maybe I'd like to have a go at using them and figuring out how to make them work for watercolour. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to start with some very simple animals. We're going to do some ducks and chickens in basically line and wash using watercolour pencils for the wash colour and a watercolour um, black pencil by Stettler Karat Aquarelle uh, for the line. So let's get started. Now although we've got a uh, hundred colours to choose from I decided to keep the whole thing very simple so I've selected four colours. We've got here um, Burnt ochre, I hadn't looked at the colours before, aquamarine or turquoise, um, dark orange yellow and pale geranium lake. So in other words we've got brown, turquoise, yellow orange and red. And those are the colours I'm going to use. And these are the chickens and ducks that I'm going to show you how to paint. So we'll just put that to one side for now. Now first of all I just want to look um, at how these watercolour pencils work because um, I'm a bit of a newbie on this and I'm sure some of you have done this kind of work before and uh, you probably know more than I do about it. But for those of you who don't, and I know that there are many who don't, um, when you use watercolour pencil, and excuse my hands please because I've been messing around with mucky things today, um, if you put down some of the pencil, what you're supposed to do with it then is to wet it and you will get a wonderful wash of colour. Isn't that marvellous? And here's the blue that we're going to use. I could have picked any colours, I chose these more or less at random. And turquoise blue, beautiful. It melts completely, just like watercolour. And the brown. And I'm working on just cartridge paper. This is just drawing paper, because this is an experiment. And here's the burnt umber. And the other colour is the light orange. And I'm not going to try to mix these. Oh, look at that. That's spectacular. That reminds me of um, quinacridone gold. So there we are. And the other thing that I'm going to use is my um, Stettler Karat Aquarelle pencil, which I really like. So if you draw lines with that and then you go over those lines, they become much more dark and they develop these amazing gradations of colour. So there's lots of things that you can do with those simple materials. Okay, so I'm going to draw these uh, animals in watercolour pencil and then I'm going to colour them in. So this is, this is a relaxing thing to do. This is uh, something that, um, you know, uh, we used to do as children colouring in, but uh, why not? Okay, so we're going to just quickly draw an outline for the hen. We have this hen here. And just as you're drawing, vary your uh, intensity of your stroke. In other words, how hard do you press? vary that so you're going to get varying varying amounts of um, uh, lead onto the paper and um, we'll see how this works in a minute. 
it, it is quite important that you have the right kind of pencil for this. This won't obviously work with ordinary pencils. You don't need too much. And then I've chosen to use this turquoise blue as the shadowy colour. So I'm just going to drop in a few hints of that. Again, not too much. This is uh, basically a sketch, character sketch, you could say. And then we're going to give her a little red comb and a yellowish beak. And then we're going to put some more golden colour around, maybe a little bit of brown here, a little bit there, and some down here, and then we'll make her legs pinkish brown like that. So then we pick up our paintbrush, so we have a size 7 round here, and I'm going to start by wetting the comb, and as you can see, when you touch the black, it runs beautifully and makes a much darker line, and I find that very interesting, I must say. And it gives you all sorts of opportunities to, you can use the, um, the black that you pick up on your brush to add to the shadow areas and so on. I do highly recommend that you give this a try, it's, it's really fun. Can't say that for every aspect of watercolour, sometimes you feel watercolour can be a bit stressful. So there's chicken number one. And so now we're going to do a duck. So the duck with the characteristic duck shape. There they are, and they have their wonderful webbed feet, little eye, and a beak. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. A little bit of blue for the shadowy areas, and yellow or orange yellow for the beak and the feet. And then just a little bit of yellow here and there on the body. And this is the exciting bit. Ha! Look at that. Oh, look at that line. You'd think you'd done it in ink. It's so cool. So I've had two exciting experiences with painting this week doing watercolour on canvas and starting to use watercolour pencils and, and line. Okay, so now we have a cockerel here. And he's an interesting bird, isn't he, the cockerel? Don't want to bother too much with any detail. This is just to give you the idea of how this can work. And what colour we will do, we'll just give him a little bit of blue and we'll do his chest feathers like that, a little bit down here, those of you who are interested in doing cartoons and illustrations and things like that, this is a fantastic way of doing that, look at that, isn't that wonderful? And the good thing is you have so much more control um, <clears throat> when you're putting the paint on using the pencils. A lot more control really than you do, especially as a beginner, when you're doing it with a brush. So, and the other thing you can do if you want to, once the paper is wet, 
you can come back in with the pencil and you can add more lines if you want but you don't want to overdo it okay so now we have another duck I'm going to put another duck here Ducks, of course, have got yellow feet and beaks, and the rest of them is basically white, but we know that you can do um, blue shadows to give the impression of whiteness. So this one we'll just do like that. See how that goes. the hen a little bit of blue of course you can change the colors you don't have to do them all the same but it makes quite a nice little arrangement, I think, on the paper. It's a good, um, what do you call it, a good um, warm-up. Keep this one really simple. And you can push up. You don't, and you can, of course, mix colours. I've gone a bit far there, so I'll give her a bigger hairdo. There we go. And if you want to, as I said, you can go back in and make it darker if you feel it's not dark enough. Add a bit more colour. And finally, a duck who is preening herself and has got herself into that really typical awkward duck like position. She's leaning over the back of her, over her shoulder. So she's going that way, she's going away from us. There we are, and we just wet the paint. And this is something that could be developed into quite an interesting process. So there we are. Perhaps we should give them all something to stand on. So there we are, that's our farmyard, pretty much what we've got here where I'm living right now. Chickens and ducks and of course we have our lambs and so on and so forth. So there we are, that was my starting point. This is the second go round. Hope you enjoyed watching me do that. I bet most people have got a few coloured watercolour pencils lurking around somewhere. 
So uh, it's not just for children, you can do something quite sophisticated with that. So why not have a go? So I'll say goodbye for now and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.